Welcome to this Breeze training video. This video covers how to use the scheduler tool. To get to the scheduler, you may hover on tools in the navigation area and click on scheduler or click on the scheduler icon in the Breeze dashboard. When first arriving in the scheduler tool, the new schedule dialog box will already be open. To work with an existing schedule rather than create a new schedule, click on a schedule icon. Schedules are organized into a tree-based hierarchy with the use of groups. Group folders may be added by clicking the group icon. Before clicking on the icon, select the group where the new group will be added. To change the name of this new group, double-click, type the new name, and press Enter. Schedules and groups may be moved by dragging and dropping them anywhere within the hierarchy. To create a new schedule, click on the schedule icon. A schedule must have a name and a fail-safe playlist before it will be created. Click Submit and the new schedule is created within the selected group. Clicking on the schedule icon displays information about that schedule. The current day is indicated on the calendar by the darker gray color. Calendar views may be changed with the day, week, and month buttons. To review what fail-safe playlist is assigned to a schedule, click the Edit Schedule button. If changes are made while in this dialog box, be sure to click Submit or those changes will be lost. A fail-safe schedule repeats on a loop and will play as long as the player is running. If one set of media content will be shown every day, then a schedule is all that is needed. If different media content is to show at certain times of the day or week, then a schedule block is required. To create a schedule block, select the schedule that the schedule block will be a part of. Click on the New Schedule Block button and the New Schedule dialog box opens. Enter a name and select the playlist for the schedule block. Then, select the date and time the schedule block will show. This schedule block will show 24 hours a day for one business week. Notice the time is set using 24-hour notation, or more commonly known as military time. When this schedule block comes to an end, the fail-safe schedule will resume showing. There can be many schedule blocks in one schedule. In this example, all blocks are scheduled to play Monday through Friday. The first block, named Morn, is scheduled to play from 8 a.m. until 10.30. The noon schedule block will play from noon until 1 o'clock and the Eve schedule block will play from 4 o'clock until 6.30. In between the times the schedule blocks are showing on the weekdays, as well as on Saturday and Sunday, the fail-safe playlist will return. To see a more detailed representation, click the Week button. Here's the morning schedule block. The fail-safe will return to show from 10.30 until noon, when the noon schedule block will start, the failsafe will return again from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m., and then the eve schedule block starts. Times of the empty areas may be seen by clicking on them, and clicking on a schedule block will take you to the schedule block dialog box. When schedules become very complicated, the calendar can be an invaluable tool. In this example, Two playlists play Monday through Friday, the month of April. Morning, 
and 12 to 4 Monday, Wednesday, Friday. In addition, a schedule block called BBCC shows from noon to 4 on Tuesdays and Thursdays for two weeks. Reviewing this schedule in the weekly view reveals an error. BBCC has been scheduled to start at 12.30 instead of at noon. This can be easily corrected by clicking on the schedule block and adjusting the time. The last example is to set a schedule block that will show for less than 24 hours. First, create the schedule block. Then enter the name and select the playlist. To create a schedule block that will show for less than 24 hours, more than one day must be included. And the checkbox will define which day the playlist shows. To delete a schedule, select the schedule to be deleted and click Delete. Notice this deletes the whole schedule. To delete a schedule block, go into the schedule block and click Delete Schedule Block.